world and I'm back with another video it is currently 10 51 p.m. here in South Auckland New Zealand if you haven't already subscribe and make my day also turn on your post notifications to be notified when I upload next okay just to clear up why I'm wearing these earrings and have this blah 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 on I didn't go anywhere special we had a family dinner or family kind of get together for my uncle who was visiting from Samoa and he's returning tomorrow. It is the first time that I've seen him since he's been here in New Zealand. Apparently he's been here for two weeks and I only just saw him today on his last day. Mostly because I've been working for majority of the days that he's been here. Um, and today was... Well, I wasn't off today but... Um, they decided to hold the family gathering at 8 o'clock so I, I finished work at 7 and I got here at 8 o'clock um, did all the stuff you know um, preparing the food well we didn't really prepare food yeah just making the older people's food uh, setting it out for them and then everyone just kind of like everywhere you know hanging out like catching up and things it was so good for me it was so good because i hadn't seen my family in ages and i didn't come on new year's and apparently everyone that came today came on new year's also and so i was working new year's but everyone came and they had fun blah blah, blah. went home and i came home and i was really sad because um <laughs> You know, I didn't get to spend time with them and I hardly ever get to spend time with my family. So today was pretty good. Like, usually I get a bit antisocial. So, like, um, I would be very useless at family gatherings. But today I found it pretty good. I think I added two videos before my intro um, of our family gathering. That is only some of our family. So our family is kind of split. Originally everyone was here, not everyone, but like a um, majority of my mom's siblings, including my mom, lived here. And then we have some of their siblings in Samoa and her one sister. One sister? Yeah. Her one sister that lives in Australia now, um, alongside a few of my other cousins. So, um, you know... Today was a pretty good day, like, I enjoyed it, the fact that everyone was here, but it kind of sucked that, that not everyone, everyone was here, like, how we used to have our family gatherings. Um, so yeah, but you're probably wondering, like, why is she uploading now, like, I kind of thought it's been a while since I've uploaded anything, I didn't want to wait and upload you, only on special occasions and things, so I thought, because... There is a big possibility that I am getting my tattoo on Saturday. I'm gonna cry my heart out. But yeah, I thought I would just vlog every single day. Small things, not even like massive things, but just vlogging small, small things. Just to keep my channel going, keep me alive, um, keep me kind of interesting. Not really interesting because my life's not really interesting. I have no life. Okay, so why will why y'all why we are here? I thought that I could maybe introduce myself since I am just starting out, so you guys wouldn't know me and know the kind of person that I am and who I am in general. You know, in my previous video, it was a short one, and I didn't really say anything or like really introduce myself. You know, you guys just know me as Bora Meets World, and like that's not even my real name, so. 
My name is Mercy Sephora Mataya. Whatever. Bruh. Mercy Sephora Mataya. The name Bora, like Bora Meets World, comes from my middle name, Sephora. Um, it's spelled S-E-P-O-R-A. But in the Samoan language, a majority of the time, our P is pronounced as a B as to why I call myself Bora, Bora Meets World, you know? And then the word, <laughs> my name, my YouTube channel name, Bora Meets World. I actually got that um off of boy meets world if any of you know what boy meets world is and girl meets world is i absolutely love you like i love those shows i love boy meets world like and then when they made girl meets world i was so in love like i, I just cried my heart out because you know <laughs> but anyway that's where i got my name Bora Meets World only because I was obsessed with the shows and basically this channel is just kind of like my way of stepping out into the world um, my way of kind of making my mark I haven't made a mark yet but my way of trying and attempting to make my mark in this world hence Bora Meets World yeah. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street under the sun. I'm 19 years old, turning 20 this year in 2019. Let's go to decades. Like I say in every video, I live in South Auckland, New Zealand. Born and raised, baby. And I don't plan on moving anytime soon. Well, actually, I did plan to move, but. But you know, I'm just going to say that I don't plan to move anytime soon. Um, <laughs> dreams and aspirations. Um, growing up, I was one of those kids that always changed their mind every five seconds um, about what I wanted to do when I was older. I think when I was younger, it was the typical police, uh, firefighter, things like that. In my primary days, like five to ten years old kind of thing I was adamant I wanted to be a nurse or a doctor that I wanted to do all that I even used to carry around a first aid kit that I took from my mom from our home first aid kit I used to carry around in my bag and like whenever was someone was injured or I was injured myself I used to just pop it out and be like yeah I have I have bandages I have plasters who wants it yeah, I was that kid. Then I entered intermediate. That's um, age 12 and 13, so preteens. My tween days, I wanted to do architecture. Um, back then, growing up, growing up, I honestly, I always copied everything that my sister would do. I looked up to my sister. Um, I still do now. Um, most of the time just kidding um, I still do now and um, so growing up I always used to follow her around always wanted to be what she wanted to be um, what she always wanted to do what she wanted to do and so when I heard that she wanted to do architecture I looked into it myself and I actually thought it was a really good idea you know like I thought it was a really good um, career choice so um so i decided yeah i want to do architecture and i was set on that idea also and yet when i was 12 age 12 and 13 and you know everyone was like wow that's a really good thing because like i was really into art i loved art like i just absolutely loved art and um it was one of my strong points it's not now because like I kind of gave up but um, back then it was one of my strong points and so it made sense for me to get into architecture as it was like designing houses and things like that then I totally like just threw that out of my head once I got into high school high school I was all about discovering because my mom and my sister were really set on me like choosing the career path that I wanted to get into so came the ideas of asking everyone at high in high school what do you want to do when you grow up 
honestly I swear everyone was like I don't know I don't know even to the last day of high school when we were year 13 a lot of people I asked I don't know I don't know but we were all applying for university and it was so weird because I was like yeah I applied um, for university I got in blah blah like and then I was like what do you want to do what do you want to do and they're like oh I just you know I signed up for the subject and the subject and they're like but I I kind of don't know what I want to do yeah it was kind of weird like um everyone wasn't really set on the idea on the career choice that they signed up for but I guess everyone's doing pretty good you know in uni um, from what I hear from the people that us that I still kind of keep in contact with um, everything's kind of going great with everyone who signed up for university and I'm actually really proud of everyone um, me personally I wanted and everyone knew this I wanted to do mechanical engineering and business throughout my years i took math science and accounting and then in my year 12 i did what did i do i did calculus physics and accounting again and financial studies then year 13 i kind of did the same thing and after a while i just kind of gave up because i was like um, I started to slack in school and I felt really stink, you know. I'm not gonna lie, I actually really loved school. I I really loved school. And I actually liked studying. So it was weird for me to actually lose my mojo um, coming towards the end of my high school days. I did sign up to how many um, universities and I got into majority of them, which I was really proud of. But then coming out of high school, you know, everyone went to university when it started and I volunteered to help out at home so everyone was studying and I was working yep and so from that time I've been working at McDonald's for a year now and I can honestly say I love it there like the people there are just like I've made some really great friends with the people there and I just love it that's the main reason why I'm still at McDonald's is because the people there and I do hope that I go back to study but for the time being I just want to work and help out at home with whatever I can help out with you know I don't want to see my family struggling when I can do something to help so I just want to work first before I get into the idea of studying and yeah so that's the end of my um, my dreams and ambition so after giving that little story time kind of thing, I really hope that you guys take a good lesson from that. You know, not everything goes as planned and you may end up not liking it and you may end up loving it. So just get ready to meet the challenges that you may face coming like into the real world um, and growing up. Growing up, YouTube was just for listening to music and watching music videos, nothing else. The YouTube community back then was way different from the YouTube community now. Um, back then, there was no community from what I know. Um, there was no community and now we have all these YouTubers, vloggers, things like that, like everyone sharing their life experience. So growing up, we had a camcorder and a um, Fuji film like camera. Yeah, and I pretty much carried those things like everywhere I went. Um, whenever we were at family things and my sister was taking videos, I was a main child, always trying to jump into the shop, and being like, "Yeah, me, take me, take me, please take me," and everyone's like what take you where I'm like just no like take a photo of me take a video of me I just want to be in the, in the camera even with the camcorder I used to set it up in my room um actually anywhere in the house I used to carry it anywhere around the house like yeah this is me this is my house blah 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 things like that basically vlogging and then like I'd set it up in the room somewhere in the room and I'd even make like commercials like 
I'll just take anything and be like, yeah, this, you should buy this, mmm, so nice, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it was like things like that, and I'd even like make, um, singing videos, singing videos, <laughs> covers and things like that. Even like made up stories, like I'd act out, um, like I'd write out scripts, honestly, like, it was pretty random scripts, like I'd write out random scripts, and then like, I'd act them out like I'd do a one man show. So <laughs> like uh, so it'll be like, Hey, how you doing? Oh yeah, boo. Oh, I like you. I like you too. Things like that. Um I'm pr I, I was a pretty um <laughs> creative child. <laughs> and yeah, so I'll cameras broke and I just kind of stopped um, with the video making and um, and then I entered high school I entered high school and YouTube was a thing no not even high school um, intermediate intermediate uh, this was like around 2011 or 2010 2011 kind of thing um, where YouTube kind of was slowly becoming a thing. Um, oh no, I think it was Vine. Vine was becoming a thing, and then people were jumping in. People, <laughs> people were jumping into making YouTube videos, and that's when YouTube, the YouTube community, just bang, big bad theory. Nope. Um, yeah, it just kind of expanded. So from then. I was just kind of like, I want to make a YouTube channel. And for the longest time, I was just like, I want to make a YouTube channel. I want to make a YouTube channel. And so I started watching like um, those videos that give tutorials on how to start a YouTube channel. And for me personally, it was like, I have to get a camera for me to start a YouTube channel. Like, I can't just use anything. I have to have a camera. Blah, blah, blah. Like, even after watching videos like making a YouTube video with your smartphone and things like that, I was just like, no, no, I have to get a camera. I'm not doing this YouTube video with smartphone. What the heck? I have to get a camera. And so I procrastinated my whole high school years. It's been five years, five years, almost six, would be six years this year. And I'm finally starting a YouTube channel. I've finally started one. For me, it's, I think it's kind of hard because like the YouTube community has grown um, immensely and for me to start now, it's like everyone's already got a fan base, everyone's kind of grown their own kind of style, blah blah blah, things like that. But, you know, 2019, my year, I hope it is. <sighs> so here I am making a YouTube video in 2019, let's go. Anyway, so, <laughs> sad life story slash um, story time um, is done for the night. It's already 1.15 a.m. in the morning, so, <laughs> anyway, peace.